hello everyone welcome back to my channel so my dear friends today i am with the another passing strategy video for this particular subject that is engineering mechanics i will discuss some important questions related to this subject it is subject code is b civil c 103 or 203 so definitely if you are a regular student it is uh, 203 over here if you are a backlog student then it is 103 uh, the subject code is 103 so my dear friends let me tell you first uh, it is not the subject where you can only focus on the theory uh, theory part there are a lot of numericals in this particular subject so it is very difficult to tackle over there only with the theory part so you have to focus on the problematic part more than the theory part over there so i have taken some theory questions also uh, which are the most important ones over there so you will uh, you will take them uh, into consideration over there so first one is the classification of force system and principle of transmissibility of forces it is the most important question over there so there may be definitions like what is force over there then classification of force system and sometimes uh, principle of transmissibility of forces and state and prove Varignan's theorem it is the most important one you have to focus on this particular part then state and prove law of parallelogram law of forces so it is very simple one and important one also right so this is uh, this you may already come across in the pu second also right then you have to focus on this particular problem which is very simple one over the year if you want some uh, separate video for this problem i can make it you can just comment down so this is uh, determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant some uh, the interface will be like this uh, problem will be like this dire direction of forces uh, suppose it is uh, 30 degree uh, from the x-axis downwards and 300 newton is uh, force applying on this and this is the 200 newton you have to just break down uh, these components into two components that is horizontal component and vertical component then you can calculate the magnitude and direction of the resultant over the air so these are the simple problems which you have to focus over the air then resultant of coplanar concurrent forces force system and resultant of coplanar non-concurrent force system definitely 10 marks will be there on this particular concept you can just go through your model question papers and you can also refer 18 scheme papers also where you can get some questions try three to four problems from this concept if you are not convenient uh, in this particular part then you have to focus on the first part as you already know in the first module there are two parts right so in our part this may be the 10th uh, 10 marks question definitely over there and some theory questions will be uh, from this particular part just just because there are intermixing of questions it, it is not possible uh, to uh, what we call as predict the questions uh, that this will be in the second part or this will be in the first part so intermixing of questions takes place in this particular subject okay so this much content is enough if you just cover the module first over the year then module second comes up which is the equilibrium of coplanar force system in which you have to cover theory questions also uh, like state and prove lamy's theorem explain different types of beams uh, what is meant by the equilibrium right so state the conditions of static equilibrium for both concurrent and non-concurrent force system these are the most important questions which uh, uh, which will be definitely in the examination uh, over there that is the video examination right so this is the model second these are the theory questions then you have to focus on the free body diagram it is also simpler one my dear friends you can just refer sun star also uh, you can predict itself what will be the questions on this particular part so this is a most frequently asked question in the video examination draw the free body diagram fbd of sphere shown and find the reactions of the points of contact over there so this will be the uh, figure over there you have to just draw the free, free body diagram then you can find accordingly the reactions of the points of contact over there so two points of contact are here so you can easily uh, find out figure out it then determine the tension in the strings also calculate theta for shown in suppose these string problems are most important my dear friends this will be the interface of the problem you have to focus on two to three problems on this particular concept as i earlier mentioned that this is the subject where you cannot only focus on the theory part you have to just ponder on the uh, problems much more than the theory part over there so these are the tensions in the strings problem uh, strings problems over there so you have to focus on this right this is a very simple concept so then types of supports types of loading will be the theory question over there this is according to the syllabus so numerical problems on, on beams if they are convenient if you are a convenient on the beams problem you can just go through otherwise you have to focus on this sitting problem and then uh, this particular sphere problem where you have to find out the reactions of the points of contact over the air so this much content is enough for the module second my dear friends then third model comes up in which you have to focus on trusses there are two chapters as well 
uh, where you uh, where you have to deal with the trusses and friction part so in the trusses part uh, the questions will come up like classification of trusses assumptions made in truss analysis then in the friction part different types of friction and outline the laws of the static uh, friction over there or simply they will ask the laws of dry friction over there right so these are the four important questions as far as theory is concerned over there so these are the theory concepts in this particular module that is trusses part and friction part then analysis of plan perfect trusses by the method of joints and method of sections so you have to focus on numericals of this particular truss over there if you are convenient with trusses you can go through truss problems if you are convenient with the friction problems then you have to go through friction problems rest of the questions are the theory part which you can go through easily but you have to focus on the problematic part whichever is convenient for you people you can go through truss problem or beam problem maybe beams are a little bit simpler than trusses so it is according to your own choice whatever you choose over there right then module 4 comes up uh, which is the centroid of plane areas it is also a problematic uh, what we call module over there and also it contains two chapters one is the centroid uh, of the plane areas another one is moment of inertia inertia of plane areas uh, so centroid uh, you have to deal with the de uh, derivation over there suppose derive the expression for centroid of a triangle from first principle and uh, next one is uh, the problems like uh, locating the centroid of rectangle triangle will be there circle or semicircle and some other composite areas will be uh, there so you have to focus on these problems like uh, locating the centroid so there is not a particular problem which can uh, which i will tell you that it is the important question so it is not possible to predict so there uh, predict so therefore there will be some sort of problems which you have to focus on suppose you, you do one problem on rectangle one problem on triangle one problem on circle semicircle like that you can easily cover this uh, particular model with 20 marks with ease over there so derivation part is there one derivation is there right then moment of inertia of plane areas which is a simpler one just because there are theory concepts but uh, as you already know there is intermixing of paper uh, what we call as question is over there so uh, you have to focus um, these theory questions also uh, like parallel axis theorem is important one perpendicular axis theorem is important one and radius of gyration it is the theoretical part over there and then moment of inertia for this these are the problems moment of inertia for rectangular triangular and circular areas for method of integ integration so these are the two, two chapters whichever is convenient for you people you can go through accordingly uh, so i may just prefer you, you can just go through centroid problems if you find it easy then uh, if you are very convenient in the moment of inertia part then you have some theory concepts over there so you can go through also like parallel axis theorem perpendicular axis theorem and problems on these uh, rectangular triangular circular areas where you have to find out the moment of inertia then module fifth comes up which is the kinematics part in which you have to cover definitions like displacement what is speed what do you mean by velocity over there what do you mean by acceleration and acceleration due to gravity also right and numericals on linear motion and numericals on projectile these are the uh, these this is the first part in the module first where you have to deal with these type of uh, problems were there and these type of uh, definitions th uh, this will be definitely in the examination any definition will they will ask in the examination then kin uh, kinetics part in which most important question is what do you mean by dl Umbert's principle and write down its application in the plan motion this will be seven marks definitely over there right then problems on uh, sorry uh, also problems in the kinetics part you have to deal with and some theory questions like what do you mean by kin kinetics what do you mean by kinematics projectile motion these will be the uh, what we call as uh, theoretical questions over there what do you mean by time of, time of flight right so these are the uh, theory, theoretical concepts in the second part and explain super elevation and its necessity of providing super elevation so these are the most important questions which you have to focus on over there so that you will easily get it uh, you can easily score in this particular subject over here that is engineering mechanics which is uh, uh, actually it is also uh, called as introduction to civil engineering they have changed this name uh, simply to engineering mechanics over there so i hope this much content will definitely help you in the examination so thanks for watching my video over there